and happy Scare Actors Week. It's Mikey from the Scare Trap Podcast here to introduce this mega montage video of fantastic scare actors sharing their memories, sharing their photos, sharing their videos, and just all around celebrating Scare Actors Week. Now we all know that COVID-19 has unfortunately had a huge effect on everyone around the world with so many industries struggling, especially the haunted house and scare attraction industry. Lots of events have already cancelled, meaning there'll be a lot less job opportunities for you scare actors out there. In fact, we run a scare actors group on Facebook and the amount of vacancies on there compared to other years really is upsetting. But we know you might not be able to scare us this year, but you've been scaring us for years and doing an absolute fantastic job and no one gives you enough credit. Until now, we've spent all week dedicating our podcast feed to scare actors. Now we know there's so many ingredients of scare attractions and everyone does a fantastic job from management, creative, from designers, from techies, but that cherry on the top is the scare actor. They're the one running around like headless chickens every night, hurting themselves, bruising themselves, killing their throat to absolutely scare us to death. So this week is dedicated to you. We asked for pictures, videos, memories to be sent in, and this is the mega montage we've collated all together. A huge thank you for being amazing scarers and happy Scare Actors Week. Hey guys, so I thought I'd just send you a quick video message on my favourite memory whilst working at a scare attraction. So I worked in the village in 2019 at Extreme Scream and it's such an incredible maze. I absolutely love it. It's terrifying, but great. Um, and probably one of my funniest memories whilst working there would have been when a, like they were kind of, they were quite a small group of guys, middle-aged kind of guys, and I managed to scare one of them pretty good. And he basically shouted out bloody Nora because he didn't want to swear. And I said something really stupid, like, oh, who's Nora? She sounds like fun, but in quite a creepy voice. And I, I was so surprised at the reaction I got because they all just burst out laughing. And I think the way I must have said it, it was just, it was just so funny. I had to walk off and hide again because I thought it was funny with the way, with the way they reacted to it. And yeah, oh, Nora, she sounds like fun. So yeah, it was... um. Yeah, it was quite funny, and that's probably one of my funniest memories whilst uh, working in a scare maze. Right. I'm sure it was one. <laughs> oh my god, I have too many stories. <laughs> uh, okay, so as a scare actress, uh, some of the best ones were uh, well, one time I was doing The Barn. I was playing out a horrible, creepy old granny who had very colourful language. And there was this lass who came in and she was like, you don't scare me. I was like, oh yeah. Smashed a plate in front of her. She screamed, took off, that was it. But she obviously liked it because she came back and thought it was great. Because <laughs> I actually scared her. What is your name? Christina. Where are you from? I am from here, my dear. Are you alive or dead? Now we find out. Other thing, Mikey, one for you. Mikey, you and I and Hannah and a few of us, we all went to Halloween Horror Nights at uh, Germany, uh, Europa Park, and there was a zombie thing, and uh, yeah, this zombie blasts out of a cupboard. Mikey hit the deck. Literally, straight down, hit the deck. Best thing ever. It's Hannah here from the Scare Track Podcast. Before I joined the Scare Track podcast, I was part of Escape Entertainment, who did scare attractions for children in Telford. I was part of the design team as well as scare acting. We broke onto the scene in 2012, and 2013 was my favourite event that I worked at. It was Mission of Fear, The Ward. You're about to see a few clips of uh, The Ward and the Mission of Fear actors. This was by far my favourite mate to act in. Enjoy. I am infected. I am infected. If you're infected, you have to stay. You have to stay. I have to chop up Teddy's head. Oh, Hi everyone, it's Scott here from Pleasure Beach Experience. A big thanks to Mikey from Scare Track for giving us the opportunity to talk about scare actors. 
Firstly, I just want to say a big thank you to everyone that's ever scared me or anyone that I have been with in scare mazes. You've always provided a lot of excellent entertainment and scares and it's always most appreciated, so thank you. Um, I'm going to start with my funniest moment and that goes to last year at Farmageddon in Ormskirk. Um, my friend Mullet, he was leading and we go through this tight corridor and he didn't see the actor that was waiting like against the wall and I had and I tried to alert him by saying oh no oh no and he doesn't see this actor and this actor just moves at him like that and he just hits the floor like a pack of cards and it the whole group just erupted into laughter but one thing that always gets me is when he falls his 4d glasses fall off or his 3d glasses fall off he hits the floor in just pure fear and you can tell that the actor's done a great job but at the same time you can hear all of us laughing in the background and I just go, it's falling over! And I think every time I watch it back I'm just like, that is probably one of the funniest moments or the funniest moment that I've had in a scare maze but there's been so many because as you may have seen on our videos Mark is scared at just about everything and there's been so many great moments with so many great actors that we've seen through so many great scare attractions the scariest moment, well it could be one of any moment in Horror and Hitchinbrook House last year. Oh, wow, every actor in there pretty much got me. They were coming from everywhere and I just got scared so many times. But there was a point in that where you went outside and there was, I think there was four clowns all with chainsaws. Now there was only three of us and Mark and Stuz had gone on in front of me and I was left at the back and I'm thinking, Go easy on me guys, I'm the cameraman, please don't go for me. And I've got these four clowns giving me this big, like, we're gonna get you look, with chainsaws, and they just cornered me, and I was just like, go on then, just, just chop me up with your chainsaws, because I, I give up, I'm not gonna run away. I'm... They got me good, they really, really got me good. And I always watch back on that and think, that is the moment that got me the most in a scare maze. That is just, it was an epic moment. And I look back on it and, at the time I was I was bricking it, but I look back at it as a great moment. So there are my two moments, but there has been many, many fantastic moments over the last 10 years that I've been doing scare events, scare attractions. And I just want to say a big thank you to every single scare actor, scare event organiser, and everyone in the scare industry who has really brought on the scares over the UK in the last 10 to 15 years. You've made it such a big thing in this country, you've made it such a special event and it's all down to the excellent scare actors who just put in their life and soul into everything to make it fantastic for people like us who enjoy these mazes. So a big thank you. I can't finish this without a special mention to the Tully's nurses because they are legendary. Well that's it from me, thank you for listening. Thank you to Scare Track for appreciating scare actors. Thank you very much. So my favorite memory from when I was scare acting so far has to be Chris Massacre at Warsaw Scare Maze, I was acting in my position, I saw somebody coming through the room before me, so I thought okay, here we go, this is either a straggler or someone who's really fast. I jump out and scare them, and it's my manager. <laughs> Properly crapped himself, but I was mortified, absolutely mortified. Hi, I'm Chris from Extreme Scream and one of the things I like doing with the scare acting is messing with people's heads. So picking up on names or if you recognise people and have seen anything of them before, picking up on that and because they don't recognise you, you can say pretty much what you like and it just absolutely confuses the hell out of them. And one of the best times yeah, that I can remember is in 2018, I was the team leader for Curtain's Chaos at Extreme Scream. So I was freely moving around the maze as one of the large clowns. I saw Mikey and Hannah come through and I don't know them very well. Um, it was only my second year of scare acting, but obviously I followed a lot of the scare track podcasts and um, all their updates on the internet. So I'd seen that they recently got married and I'd seen the photos and I had seen the updates from Scarecon the year before where they'd gone dressed up as pirates. And I remember going through the maze and I saw Mikey and I just started singing It's a Small World to him and he's just started laughing and then I kept popping out on Hannah and just absolutely confusing the hell out of her just say, oh here's the happy couple was it the pirate costume that did it for you 
and all this random stuff like that. And every time I saw it, her face was just getting more and more confused. Um, I even remember on the review after, she was just, I, could, I think she says, like, who the hell was that guy? And I did he know everything? But just things like that make me laugh and always picking up on people's names. It's one, it's an, again, it's an easy scare, just shouting out the person's name because they have no idea how you know. Um, but it's so much fun. Uh, one of my memories of scare acting was from last year, the 2019 season, where I was the team leader of the Pie Factory. And we had a, I'm guessing it was a, a stag group coming through, or it was a group of lads, and it, one of them it was a special occasion, and they had them dressed up in a bridesmaid's outfit. And I'd just seen them literally right at the start of the queue line. And I'd seen the guy dressed up in the bridesmaid outfit, and I had a bit of sort of back and forth with him. But I noticed he had fake blood all over him. But when I got closer, I was like, what the hell was that smell? And then I realised his friends had basically been to the burger and, and just coated him head to toe in ketchup as the fake blood. And you sort of laughed at him and you thought, you poor bugger. And I have a couple uh, s- stories, um, that are highlights. Um, one of my favourite ones is we had a guest who had been got by one of the zombies. Um, and he was basically ended up just like lying on the floor and like i walked past him and i was like oh my god is he is he okay so like you know you you see you see you see a guest on the floor and you're like okay something's got to be up so you go over to them and you're like hey are you all right are you okay and they're like oh yeah i've i've been i've been bitten and i was like what and he's like yeah yeah one of the zombies got me and i was like oh oh are you, why are you on the floor? He's like, oh, cause I'm, I'm dead now. And I was like, oh no, no, you can, you can carry on, please, please go carry on. And we had to like convince him that it's okay to actually carry on with the, with the, with the event. Like he wasn't like he wasn't dead. He could carry on, but that was definitely a strange reaction. Um, but it's great to see they were immersed in it. I say that. Oh, I'm Mark from Pleasure Beach Experience. I'd like to to thank Mikey for. Asking us to just to think about our funniest memories and our scariest moments in in, in mazes. Well, at a time it wasn't funny, but looking back on it now, even I can sit back and just enjoy the video of 2018 Tully's Twisted Clowns 3D. We're about halfway through the maze, and uh, I'm sure like the others thought this lad's scared here, and the. There must have only been like six or seven actors, but it felt at the time, it felt like there was 40 or 50 of them because they just kept coming round and I just start bouncing off every single wall. And even now it's literally just like, I could just laugh at it thinking that must have been so funny. So funny to to them actors to think, oh, we've got him. We have absolutely got him. Even watching it, you just see Scott giggling in the background every time that I just get hammered on it. It, but that is absolutely top, top moment. When it comes to scurry ones, well, I'm a bit jumpy in all mazes, to be honest with you, but the scurriest where an actor's really got me, there's been two. Both at the same event were, first one was in Fleshpot, Hollow Scream, and I just remember turning this corner and this actor just comes out of nowhere, starts banging with an ax on her, on the wall, and I just start, just instinct takes over, and I start cowering, and I'm, I'm holding on to myself, and I'm like, where is he coming from? Don't put that axe anywhere near me. And I just start shrinking into myself, and he really, really got me. But same event, and we're in the, in the clown maze. Corn evils. Corn evils, corn evil. And we're going through these flaps and there's nothing, there's nothing. And then all of a sudden, actor jumps out. I'm falling backwards. Starts banging on it. Starts shouting my name. I'm Mark, Mark, come on, Mark. And I'm like, shriveling up. And I'm like, how does he know my name? How does he know me? And literally, I have never ever been as frightened at that point. It just as a one-off moment.
disappointing. It's like that's that's a literally a top top scary moment for me. Um, just it's just so good. But realistically, I'd just like to say if we've ever been in a maze with any actors or any scary events, I'd just like to thank thank them all for for the hard work and the effort that they put in. And literally, I cannot wait to come back and support your events. It's sometime in the future, hopefully sooner rather than later as well. I literally can't thank you enough. Much appreciated. Miss Jack the Box, how oh, you doing? You? They all know all me, right. it's fine. They know who I am. So I say hello to a few people. Yeah. I don't know any names. I'm going to say hello to, um, um, who what should is, I say What do you say hello to me? Hello to me. Okay, that's good. Hello that's to me. <laughs> you like that? That's, that's a little joke there. Just a little tiny one. Ha <laughs> 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 Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> you can put it away now, it's really bright in my eye. I can't see properly. <laughs> oh no! Oh! Oh, I'm blind! That's real cruel! You're a cruel man. He's a cruel man, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a cruel, cruel man. He's a cruel man. <laughs> yeah! It's time to call the RSPCA. No, that's for animals. NSPCA. I don't know what that is. Right, sir. NSPCC. You want to call the NSPCC? It's not a real baby. We've been through this. Come on, would I do this with a real baby? Oh my god! Would I do this with a real baby? I don't Who knows? Think so. Who knows? I don't think so. I've been saved, but I ain't cruel. Come on. Okay, so we're scare actors. We all love Scarecon. Who doesn't? I came across this clip of all of us getting ready for the uh, award ceremony that evening, which I thought was quite funny. So here you go. Up the walls. Wait, There's a wet patch everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. There's a wet patch. Everybody look at the camera. You'll be famous for five minutes. Charlie, eyes up. Mitch, eyes up. Mm. Becky, eyes up. Amber, eyes to the left. <laughs> Amber, eyes to the left. Eyes to the left. Eyes to the right. Can everybody see me? I'm going on a side. You really rock. You really roll. Award winning Dr. Frights. Here we go, we all. This is Wendy, one of our scare actors. Um, she's absolutely amazing. Contortionist, as you can see. Uh, and this is behind the scenes in the makeup tent. Her perfecting her skills before we scare the masses at Dr. Frights. Okay, go on. It's not natural, is it? Oh, wow. <laughs> what on earth? You see it on Britain's Got Talent? You see it on Britain's Got Talent, but you never actually ever see it yourself here. Right, Tash? Hiya. Oh, my God. And then stand there. Hello, this is Dan from UK Haunters. Um, Mikey from Scare Track has asked me to talk about the time a scare actor really, really got me. Um, and one time immediately sprung to mind, it's when I was in Dark Harbour in Orlando and we were all going through this, this haunt and there was this scare actor who was, who was dressed all in black, wasn't particularly tall, well shorter than me for definite, dressed all in black, um, almost like one of the Imperial Guards from, um, from Star Wars, but had big black horns as well. And this person didn't do anything much. Just not moved, didn't anything. Walked all walked past the person. The person didn't flinch, didn't do anything. Walked up the stairs. As I walked up the stairs, I turned round and looked at them. And the head just turned and stared at me. And then slowly started following me. Now, I don't know how long this person was following me, but for the rest of that haunt, I was absolutely goddamn terrified. It was so simple what they did. So utterly simple, yet so utterly utterly terrifyingly effective so that one will always and forever stick in my mind so the best scare actor experience i've ever had was in universal studios florida and it was a maze called scarecrow the reaping and i went through and the actor scared me and he was this creepy looking uh, scarecrow type monster and it was just his hands came out and just tried to grab me obviously they didn't touch me and it freaked me out so much. And then I went back into the maze about an hour later and the exact same scare actor, the exact same section, 
got me so bad that I nearly peed myself. I mean, I may have trickled a little bit. What have you been up to? Who's that? There ain't no escaping from Extreme Scream 2018. <laughs> we'll be waiting for you. I'm Ben Moa, I'm a scare actor from Cursed in Essex, and I play Schizo the Clown. <laughs> hey kids, you're watching Scare Track. <laughs> We are Nightmare Night here at Milltown. My name is Scrap Faggot, and I'm here with my wife, Mrs. Filch. Mrs. Filch! Oh, Mrs. Stop poking me! Help poking me! Oh! Hello, dear Scrap Faggot. Oh. Hi, I'm Jess. I was a scare actor at Farmageddon and Passage Del Terra. Um, one memory that always sticks out to me is not just the scaring or seeing myself in the makeup for the first time or getting those really good scares in it's the people that i met and the friends that i made and just the overall experience really which is was really really rewarding especially personally because it really helped me come out my shell and get over the fear of um like that anxiety really really helped me overcome that and really challenge that um, memory that always sticks out to me though when I think about it is I was in Meat Locker in my second year at Farmageddon and so the actors we would all go to our different houses at the beginning of the night after we've got our makeup and everything on um, before the public would come in to the houses we would always have a team meeting so we'd go to like the biggest room in the house and we'd have a team meeting so the zone leaders would let us know if there's anything that we needed to know, uh, any if there's going to be any like fire drills or anything like that, um, and if anyone's got any issues. And then after that, after the important stuff got out the way, we would then psych ourselves up. We would warm up as well if you needed to feel like you needed to warm up. Um, put someone came up, can't remember who it was, but someone came up with a chant because obviously we're a meat locker and they came up with a chant, beat the meat. <laughs> you going because especially when you've been scaring every night it's really draining and exhausting so you need to get your energy levels up um and then like it started to become a chain reaction so one person in the house would start chanting it and even though you're separated from everyone someone else would hear it and then another person would hear it and then it everyone in their positions would start shouting it as well <laughs> um yeah like that was I love that so much and like obviously the memories of the scares and some of the funny scares that I'd get and some of the people that come through the houses and just how funny they are Um, obviously the scared ones you leave them alone but some of the banter that you have with some of the customers is is pretty funny um, especially when you get the people that act like they're not scared but really they're terrified <laughs> So if anyone's ever thinking of scare acting, I highly recommend it. It's so much fun. It's so rewarding. Um, really helps you come out your comfort zone and get you out of that like fear of your head and stuff. Um, so yeah, <laughs> awesome. Thank you, Scare Track, for doing the Scare Actors Week. Great. Thank you. <laughs> So 
So I have so many fantastic memories of scare attractions. You can go through all our podcasts and probably find a highlight from each and every episode we go on location. Um, a few that really do stand out for me. When I was an actor, in fact, at ScareCon 2012 at the Norbert Castle in Blackpool, when we did Scare Room 2, there's actually a video of it on YouTube by Andrew Georgiadis. Go and watch it now, it's hilarious. But I played a monk, I played a gorilla, I played a crazy, far slimmer version of me in my pajamas, and it was just the best fun, the best people, and a great way to get properly introduced to scare acting. Other highlights, um, going alone at Europa Park when they gave us the uh, the forbidden tickets and we got to go through attractions by ourselves. Huge, huge memory. Going to Halloween Horror Nights for the first time. Um, Farmageddon, those drop boxes. Poof. Um, Psychomantium, when I did that for the first time, I thought it was crazy. We're so lucky in the UK to have so many diverse, amazing, solid, quality scare attractions. And I feel very lucky and humbled that we get to experience those each and every year. This year is going to be a bit different, but let's just enjoy this week. I hope you've all enjoyed it. And um, happy Scare Actors Week. And they were just a few of my favourite memories. So we're nearly at the end of this mega montage of scarers. Thank you to everyone who sent in their favorite memories. And of course, a few of you were able to send us some little mini clips of you acting and behind the scenes stuff as well. I understand that usually cameras aren't permitted. So there's only a very few number of clips in this video. But what you have done in abundance is send us your photos to share in this mega montage at the end of the mega montage. I love the word montage. Let's go. Happy Scare Actors Week, and we'll see you all at Halloween. Yeah, it's just all the thing I've got, please. Help me! <laughs> oh.